apprentice. I see you've landed on Nar Shaddaa. It is, I'm afraid, the armpit of the galaxy. Must be your kind of place, Barris. In my youth, perhaps. Nar Shaddaa is a planet of frivolity and distraction. Gambling, spice, rampant black market and gang territory disputes. But you are there to eliminate my spy, Agent Delicon. Normally it would be a trifling task, but Delicon has acquired a powerful ally. Why am I killing one of our own? Delicon was my spy on Nar Shaddaa, who fell under Republic scrutiny thanks to Noman Carr's Padawan. He's smart and figured I would kill him, so he sought asylum with a rival there, Lord Rathari. An upstart among the Sith who openly disrespects me. Rathari prefers a more blunt approach. The Dark Council has granted him dominion over Sith interests on Nar Shaddaa. What possessed the Council to do such a thing? Rathari has been effective at ingratiating himself to the Council. Agent Delicon knows much about my organization. I cannot have Rathari in possession of such a resource. Burn Rathari to the ground. Destroy everything he's working for. And kill Agent Delicon. I see you're not averse to overkill. This kind of defiance cannot be tolerated. Haladrel Setson runs my slave operation on Nar Shaddaa. She has been a valued operative for many years. She is ready to receive you and can fill you in on Rathari's movements and interests. That is all. Sweet talk me all day, darling. The exchange is moving in on this operation of yours. No amount of sugar going to change that. Believe me. You're going to prefer the sugar to the spice. Take one step closer and there'll be two dozen Sith surrounding you. Two dozen? That's a dead giveaway, darling. You got none. One is all she's going to need. See? Not so smug now, are you, Captain? So you do got a Sith up your sleeve. Well, we've been trained to take out Sith. Time to flex our muscles. Muscles don't flex when they've been flayed off the bone. Let's see if you can back up that threat. Kill the Sith. You have a flair for dramatic entrances. I probably could have handled that, but uh, I'm grateful for your timing. You're the apprentice Darth Barris prepped for me, yes? What exactly did he tell you about me? Barris told me why you're here and how I can help. He neglected to tell me how dashing you are. Focus on the tasks at hand, madam. Apologies, my lord. The Darth encourages me to use my feminine wiles. Halidrell sets in. So you're here to take out Lord Rathari. Won't be easy. He usually just appears, devastates, then disappears. You'll have to draw him out. He's been making some major power plays, and disrupting them will get his attention. I'll enjoy ruining Rathari's plans. He's gonna go nuts, so be ready. First, Rathari's been strong-arming the Hutt Cartel. From what I hear, they're close to signing over some important territories to him. He and his apprentice Girik are in conference with the Huts at Cartel Headquarters. If you burst in... Rathari doesn't sound like the type to negotiate. You're right. He doesn't like talk, but he knows how to apply political pressure. The Cartel is an Imperial ally. Rathari can't just beat on them. He has to play diplomat. Unfortunately, the same applies for you. If things turn violent between you and the Huts... Better if there's no one left to identify you. I'll do my best to keep the peace with our allies. The other possibility won't carry as many restraints. When all this intrigue is over and Rathari is a memory, maybe we can get to know each other better. I already warned you, you're barking up the wrong tree. Force of habit, my lord. Won't happen again. Hey, Twi'lek. Is he always like this? No comment. I guess that means I'll celebrate alone. I've got a shipment of slaves to send out, but I'll be here if you need me. Good luck, my lord. You would be wise to bend to the great Lord Rathari's will. Sign over the specified territories before he loses his patience. 
Oyatuka Changa Kotupola to Potata Wanawanki. I knew huts were spineless, but who knew they were gutless too? Hagwabaska Bunyu, Waska. I'll tell you who this is. This is the apprentice of an over the hill Sith named Darth Barras. Yes, that's right. My master and I anticipated your arrival. Where is your master, Worm? I am Lord Rathari's proxy in dealing with the cartel, and I will be his sword arm dealing with you. I'm here to make sure the cartel doesn't become Rathari's pawn. I seek to relieve the cartel of the burden of Rathari's intrusions. You act as if you don't know how easily I could kill you. Mana mana, you eda iki to kubluko charatrodo. Uta gunda tan kue gunda. Pan widak bama. You talk big for someone so obviously small. Buna nai kachu, ne tuto boga. Then mulen ji hola kuta slemo. Fine, I'll unburden us of this intruder, but then you'd better sign on the dotted line. <sighs> Impossible. Lord Rathari will still be you and your master's downfall. Find some self-respect, worm. Yes, that is exactly what I intend to do. I die by my own hand, not yours. Yinga yinga kichita, nini tanu alayu kewe kuta. Oh, wala wanga, tuske yu wala wa, ta blota wicha wa. The animal is about to be put down. Mopata di mawata tusuya, mikudiono postan mo roya. Yinga yinga kichita, nini tanu alayu kewe kuta. Word spread through the streets that Rathari's conference with the Huts was invaded and his apprentice killed. Seems like you missed your calling as a diplomat. The Huts are in a holding pattern to see what comes of your challenge. It's too bad Rathari wasn't in attendance. But man, I bet he's fuming. If he'd been there, his corpse would be steaming. All in good time. He's not the type to duck a fight. Rathari is also on the verge of taking over the Republic's base of operations in the upper industrial sites. With his work with the cartel dashed, he's sure to pour himself into squashing the Republic garrison. I'll keep banging down doors until I find him. I love a man who's tenacious. Even if Rathari isn't there, when his operations are all thwarted, I know he'll come to you. A confrontation will be inevitable. Fall back! Rally here! My lord, what is the meaning of this? We are on the verge of striking a major blow to the Republic. I am General Clinton, commanding on the authority of Sith Lord Rathari, appointed to Nar Shaddaa by the Dark Council. Why do you attack the Empire's men? If Rathari shows himself, no one else will suffer. He is attending to other matters. You belong to Darth Barras. I was given instructions to destroy you if you were foolish enough to show your face here. You'd be wise to ignore those instructions. No, I think not. You are surrounded, and we far outnumber you. Full attack! Sir, the Sith strength has been spent obliterating our enemy. We should strike while there's a chance. After that display, Weglin, I believe fighting should be our last resort. Stay back and cover me. Sith! I am Commander Nolan. I am in charge of this defensive. 
I'm unarmed. You risk much approaching me weaponless. I doubt that a blaster would save me. We do not wish a fight, but we also cannot relinquish this area. What are your terms? You live only by my good grace. I may have need of you someday, and you will repay my mercy. Very well. If your mission does not conflict with Republic interests, I pledge to help you. Here is my hollow frequency. I will answer your call. You have my word. Until we meet again, Sith. Men, the battle is ended. Attend to the wounded. My lord, my base! My base is under attack! The last of my men and I are holed up in the command center. But the doors are about to give! I'll be right there, Haladrell. Try to hold on. Do the best I can. But I... I've got a bad feeling about this. Ah! The command center's been breached. I've never seen such power. Oh, no. Clear, Darth Barris failed to inform you exactly who you'd be crossing. This demonstration should make up for that deficiency. You want Agent Delicon. You want me. I won't be hard to find anymore. I'm on the roof of the satellite platform in network access. If you dare show, I will grant you a duel to the death. Be honored. He's a moron if he thinks we're going to walk into such an obvious ambush. Right? Commander Norlin and his men owe me their lives. Hail him. I want to collect. Oh, goody. I get to play secretary. Here you go. I had a feeling you'd call, Sith. Can't say I'm looking forward to this. I'm about to give you the opportunity for glory few have seen. The destruction of a Sith Lord. That's unexpected. You've definitely piqued my interest. A soldier pays his debts. Tell me what must be done. Lord Rathari, I presume. Finally, we come face to face. Ah, you showed. You lack your master's caution. I applaud that. Delicon, Barris's lackey is here. So, say your piece, and do it before I kill this would-be assassin. Barris is insane and paranoid. I was a faithful servant, and my cover was intact. Did he expect me to accept being murdered for reassurance? Just wait for death? Come, speak with Barris. Perhaps he'll listen to reason. Do you think I'm stupid? Not a chance. Delicon and everything he knows of your master's operations are mine now. In a hundred years, when I am legendary within the Sith, your and Barriss's deaths at my hands will not even be a footnote. However, I would never lower myself to duel a mere apprentice such as you. You haven't earned the honor. I marked you as a coward the moment I saw you. Ha! You cannot goad me into it, worm. These men are my elite guard, trained to take on Sith. Half of them could kill you, but I don't like to play favorites. In that case, I'll destroy them all. Now, men, attack! So, you brought your own army to the fight. Even better. Kill everyone. I yield. Never have I witnessed such raw power. The day and the planet are yours. I freely pass the scepter. The threat Delicon posed to you and your master has died with him. I hope it ingratiates me in some way. 
You shouldn't have killed him. Why? Barris would not have accepted a show of mercy, and you must not cross him. Yet. It's clear to me now. Someday you will rise above your master. It is you, not I, who will be Darth Barris's end. Grant me mercy, so I may live to see it. Honor me with some small hand in it. I make you my minion to be called into service when I see fit. Yes. I shall wait with patience for your summons. I leave you to your business, my lord. Remember, I am at your disposal whenever you may seek to topple Barras. I may call on you. I may not. I will live out my days hoping for the chance. All right, Sith. Now no one's left but you and me and my men. Your objective has been met. May we go. You have served me well, Commander. Leave in peace. All right, men. You heard the Sith. Let's get back to our neck of the woods. Glad this is finally over. Maybe we can go back to the ship and get off this rock, huh? You haven't enjoyed Narshadavet? What's to enjoy? So dark and scummy? Ugh. Gives me the creeps. I just can't wait to get back to my quarters and grab some shut-eye. What does family mean to you? I mean, does it have to be the people you're actually related to? When you are close to people, they become family. Sometimes, whether you want them to or not. Cute. I'm going to take that as a compliment. When I was working for Noctrayan, doing the pirate thief thing, he had a daughter my age, Risha. It wasn't like Nock was super sweet to her or anything. But he'd call her princess, and I wished I was her. You've only spoken of a mother and sister. What happened to your father? Dead. Enslaved. Disappeared. We never really knew. Maybe that's why I wanted to be Risha. Risha was smart and strong. She knew how to do everything around the ship. And I went everywhere with her. Suddenly I had a sister again. For years it was Risha and me against the galaxy and anyone who gave us grief. Memories of the best times in life are treasures later in life. Who are you and what did you do with the Sith I know? Eventually, Nock hatched some secret plan that I couldn't be a part of. One that apparently got them both killed. But for a while there, I really was happy. <sighs> Enough of that. Done well, my apprentice. Delicon eliminated and Lord Rathari dispelled. This will be a day long remembered. The loss of Haladron Sitson is unfortunate, but the ends far justify the means. She served you honorably, Master. I had a soft spot for her as well. You have successfully eliminated both of my compromised agents. The time has come to set our sights on Noman Carr and his gifted Padawan. It seems our adversary is of like mind. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Noman Carr has been busy. I wouldn't expect him to be complacent. Good. Then you're less likely to be caught unaware. It appears your ship is being tracked. A very sophisticated sensor is reporting your every movement. I've traced the signal to a spaceport in a sector not far from you. I'm sure Noman Carr is involved. It seems likely. I've sent the coordinates to your mainframe. Head there immediately, dock with the station, and make a lasting impression. <laughs>